country does not belong to Europe. Europe belongs to Europe. And that's all Europe should own is Europe. Everybody deserves to own their own nation. Now, if I'm understanding the situation correctly, the, the war between the Palestinians and the Jews is the same situation that's happening here. You're trying to transplant yourself somewhere and say that I'm the author of this. You're not the author. You're the yang. You're the end of the line, not the beginning of the line. I, I know that hurts for you to understand. I understand your pain because I told, I was told all my life that I was at the end of the line. And I was always at the front of the line. I've always been the mother of civilization. I will always be the mother of civilization. All life has come through me in civilization. Is that really that hard a pill to swallow? I've swallowed that you're the best and the greatest and the first. You didn't even know the earth was round. People, work with me here. This land is indigenous land. It does not belong to Europe in any way, shape, or form. The founding fathers are not the founding fathers of this land. They were your military force in a foreign land. It was a military hostile takeover. We are all accessories to armed robbery. This land is your land, this land is my land. Are you serious? We're talking about a tribe of people that didn't even know that the earth was round. I'm so I'm serious. People been traveling back and forth forever. And then we got a group of people born and all of a sudden everything is new and what y'all doing? Why ain't it popping in here? And we got to make it ah. Uh, and that's what happened. The babies took over. The tail took over the head. Just striving to deal equally with you because at some point in time, you have to understand who you are and deal equally with yourself. You're going to have to pick your face up off the ground and stop playing with yourself. You're not first. And that is okay. You should be okay with that. In life, somebody always has to be last. You're last to get picked on a dodgeball team. Your last name ends with a Z, and they call from A to Z. Somebody is going to be last. All you have to do is play your position. Get in where you fit in and chill out. But no. The yin and the yang, babe. Good people, you're going to always have to battle them demons because they are not going to give in. That inability to, to digest the sun and, and real nature and re real reality, it's foreign to them. The sun is the energy bulb, the light bulb of the universe. And there's people that can't receive the light. And you have to deal with that reality as well, Mr. Softy Pants. Mr. I want to cower every time I see the devil. Every time I see a devil, I just start shaking in my boots. The devil can't do nothing more to you than what you allow that devil to do. And as far as I'm concerned, I'm cool. I have to let it be known right here, right now, for the masses, for my, my legacy, for anybody that knew anything about me. Understand that I know the truth about who I am. I under, understand that all life has come through me. And I understand who and what the devil is. And you know too. Immediately from that freedom, we went into a period that people call the Nadine or the Nadine, however you pronounce it, in which white folks were allowed to 
kill us any way they wanted, it was legal. And that period went on for a long time. When we left that period, we moved into probably the worst period of suffering in a long time for us called Jim Crow. So you knew the best of the best you could never enter. And the worst of the worst, you were welcome. You knew there was a bathroom for you and a bathroom for them. If you grew up like I did in Missouri, you could only look in the window. You could never go inside and try anything on, shirt, pants, shoes, because you couldn't come inside. You could never go into the show place, what we called the movie house back then, because it said whites only. You couldn't even go to the public park, but all these things you paid for through your taxes all these years. And yet you got black people talking about, oh, that's the past. Let's move into the future. We don't hear nobody like Spike Moss talk because that don't go on no more. The heck with the fact that every night when you turn on the national news, you see what's happening to you. you at least you think you see what's happening to you. If they showed what's happening to you from coast to coast every day, there would be no other news. Because what's happening to you is tragic all over this country. While we running around talking about forget the past, we'd have had two black men dragged behind trucks till their bodies were torn apart. While we talking about forget the past, we had our students getting ready to be sentenced down south to prison because they rejected you hanging a noose on the school property. While we think of forget the past, uh, Brother Al will tell you, this year in Mankato, they had a sign up in the student union. We got enough niggas, we just don't have enough rope. Minnesota. This year, while we talk about everything is in the past, everything in the past has caught up with you because it's never left you. The only thing is you went to sleep on your past. They don't make us fight for somebody else's democracy and we can't even spell democracy. They don't make us do that? I don't believe that. We're not over there in the Middle East dying again for somebody else's oil, are we? That's behind us. That's what we say. The only thing behind us is our mind. Go back and get our mind. Go back and get your mind. Because there has been no real change for you in this country other than your imagination. You think because you can play football and baseball and basketball that's changed? When the majority of your children and people are suffering and in poverty, still carrying the most poverty in the, in the world? In Minnesota, how can you be the worst state when it comes to the treatment of people of color with all the wealth here? How can you be at the bottom when it comes to education? And when they did that special about education being bad, they showed the two worst cities, Detroit and Minneapolis. But there's nowhere else to go. So, we have a space station, so anytime the stuff hits the fan, they need to drop a little roach spray on the planet Earth and go orbit in outer space. Yeah, people have said we're crazy before. People have said we're crazy before. It's the story of our life. So, the original people, indigenous people of the planet Earth have to take their rightful place. You know, the problem is you're not going to give up with a fight. You're not going to submit your will. You know, you're never going to feel like you can't tell somebody what to do. You have no rights to put your hands on me. I don't know you, and you don't know me. But I know people that can keep me in check if I need to be put in check. It's not you, though. I denounce you. You do not rightfully own this land. You don't. You're trying to force it down my throat and make me agree with you. I don't agree with you. This land is not your land. Period. I don't give a dang what you say. I don't, try to, I don't care who you try to say, whose it is. It's not yours. So you don't need to worry about it. You need to own what you're supposed to own. All of this free market taking over the world and buying up everything and all the research. Y'all need to chill with that. And I can't believe you people letting these people just tell you what you can and cannot do. Straight up. But the European can't be the one to set that example because you're the child. You're the, you're, you need to take a back seat and chill, man. There's an atheist right here on Channel 17 had the, had, had the nerve to make a comment about 
well, this wasn't in the, 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 the deep jungles of Africa and, and, and South America where they're illiterate. Where they're illiterate. And I'm thinking, what makes them illiterate? Because you don't speak the same language, they're illiterate? Because they're not studying the blue anthem of the green bulb is turning the yellow bulb into cremated fiscopov. You know, that's all you're being sold. You're being sold game. That's what the university taught me. Your game is being run on you. You're listening to all of these people talk nonsense. Complete, utter nonsense. They have no basis for their claim. And they create these laws and things for you to keep you in where you're supposed to be. In submission. And then you get mad at me because I'm like... Whatever. I don't think so. Uh, who? And you get mad. You get upset. You get indignant. You get uncomfortable. Because people are willing to die to preserve their life. Well, it wasn't a good piece of land they put us on. It's gumbo. I don't know if anybody knows what gumbo is. Well, gumbo isn't a place where you can grow things. If you walk in that mud when it gets uh, rainy, you're going to be standing about three inches taller because you're not going to be able to get that mud off your shoes. And then the white man thought we could have agriculture out there. He didn't care. He put us there just for our land, to take our land away from us. Never compensated us for nothing. And yet, when our people, the men, uh, Shakopee, Prairie Island, soon as they got smart and got a casino going and started getting money for their tribe, their people, right away, the white man wants donations. And he makes threats to them. So they, they have to donate some of that money to them. When they're the ones should still be donating money to us. Crow Creek is the poorest reservation in the nation now. For nothing.